Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to look at a speed, distance, time type of question. So here's what we have. We're, we're riding in a boat and it tells us that when we go against the current we can do 66 kilometers in three hours. And then if we were traveling with the current we would be doing, we could do 152 kilometers in four hours. Our job now is to find the boat speed in still water, that is with no current, and also what is the speed of the current. So how are we going to do that? Well, just let me, before we start with this particular question, I want to review one key thing, this little relationship, which you may have learned in science. It's a little triangle for speed, distance, and time. Velocity or speed is equal to distance divided by time. And if you think of any speed, you know, like 30 kilometers per hour, if you think about it, 30 is a speed, kilometers is a measure of distance, per hour, which is a measure of time, there's your little triangle. There's your speed or velocity, then your distance on the top, and your time on the bottom right. So it's an easy one to remember. Uh, whenever you run into these kind of speed distance time questions, I always make a little chart. So speed, distance, and time. And these charts always work the same way. There's speed, distance, and time, and there's going to be two categories here. So one of the categories is going against the current and one of the categories is going with the current. So what do we know about against the current? We know the distance is 66 kilometers in a time of three hours. When we're going with the current we know we did a distance of 152 kilometers in four hours. Now what about the unknowns? Well, if you're going against the current, we're going to take the boat speed as x. If you're going against the current, you're losing the push of the current. I'm going to use y to represent the current. So my actual speed of this boat is, is x minus y. But when I turn around, I'm going with the current, my speed of the boat plus the current. So it's increasing the speed because you're going quite a bit faster. So now I've got all of the variables and the information in my little table. Now I'm going to build some equations. And to do that, I'm going to use my speed, distance, time triangle. Now, these, um, these relationships here, <clears throat> you can build them into three different equations. The one I recommend doesn't involve fractions. So it's the one that has distance equal to velocity or speed times time. Or maybe an easier way to remember it is time times velocity or TV. So distance is equal to TV. So if I do that over here, uh, let's do the against information first. Here's the distance and that equals time times speed. And there's an equation. Now, I'm going to make this equation a lot simpler because the 3 divides perfectly into the 66. So that equation simplifies down to this, which is a lot nicer to work with. Now, my other equation here is going to be distance equals time times speed. So that's 4 times x plus y. And the same thing, the 4 divides perfectly into the 152, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, I think it goes in there 3, 38 times. And there's the rest of it, the x plus y. So now I've got my two equations. Um, I want to go ahead and solve them. I'm going to need a little room here, so let me just make some room first. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of all this stuff up here. Actually, I guess I can get rid of pretty much everything. So 
let's get rid of that and um, carry on so here's my my system and it looks like this I've got 22 equals X minus Y and then I've got 38 equals X plus Y well this is made for elimination because the Y's are ready to just cancel right out so I got two X's is equal to 60 then I divide by the 2 and so X equals 30 now X was the speed of the boat in still water so here's the boat speed it travels at 30 kilometers per hour if we had no current whatsoever and well how do we get the current well pick one of your equations doesn't matter which one I'm going to use a second one here X plus Y has to make 38 so it's pretty easy for me to get that Y has to be 8 So that's the current 8 kilometers per hour and just like that I have answered the question of the boat speed and the current and I am done for now. We'll catch you later.